Hello, I'm Larry Paul, the director of the American Institute for Pyramid Research. I made a lot of discoveries in Egypt. I'm going to be with two tours coming up, uh, leaving for Panama tomorrow for a few weeks and then going to Egypt. I'll be a faculty with Robert Grant's Alpha Chi Omega tour from uh, February 25th through March 7th. And then I'm doing my own pyramid adventure March 8th through the 13th. We're going to just stay up north and look at most of the pyramids of Egypt including some that haven't been found we're going to search for and some that hardly anybody goes to. So stay tuned. Okay, so today we're looking at the King's Chamber Revelations. You know, the King's Chamber is amazing. I've been looking at, uh, you know, The Lord of Eternity by Richard Ford. He does some tremendous decoding of the walls of the Great Pyramid. I'm going to be going over some different things here with my associate, uh, Ian Douglas uh, came up with a lot of this stuff. And so the blocks of the King's Chamber tell a message. Let's just look at some of this stuff. Okay, so here's a, um, a layout of the King's Chamber. You know, I made a model like this to make it easy to, to work with. So let's look, at, uh, let's look at some things here. So if you take the top two courses, the north, south, east, west, and uh, walls there, okay, you find that there's 31 blocks there. And then if you take the next two courses, you find that there are 42 blocks there. Look at that's pi 3.142. Simple revelation in the king's chamber. Okay, how about this? Then if we look at the fifth course there, and we count those, uh, and then we look at the floor, well, first of all, there's 27 uh, in the fifth course, and on the floor, there's 18 blocks, okay? 27 and 18, 2.718. That's the Euler constant. Incredible. Okay, so I'm going to say where's phi? Because if you have pi and Euler, probably the three most major constants that pop up a lot in Giza are those three. So where's phi in the king's chamber? Okay. All right, so we've seen that there, pi is there, Euler's there, but where's phi? Okay, so the west wall, top block, that's one. All right, then uh, the rest of the uh, first course there, northeast and south, and you have six. All right, and then uh, the rest of the blocks in the west wall there, there's 18 of them. Uh, and then, uh, well, there's zero right there because that's the entrance. It's not a block, okay? So from that, we get 1.6180, which is phi. All right, so there it is. So... So you've got 26 blocks on the first four courses of the south wall and 18 blocks on the east wall. There you go, 2.618, phi squared. So where's phi? It's in the king's chamber. So you've got the, the phi pi e. Looks like one and it's just the unity of the wisdom that makes up uh, the great pyramid and the king's chamber. All right, let's uh, take another look here. So on the west wall, you've got that a single course, a single block on the top course, and then four, and then you've got 14, all right? 1.414, oh, guess what? There's a square root of two. So you've got, you know, pi, phi, e square root of two, these major constants. Now let's look at the north wall. you got two blocks uh, up in the top course there. Then the second row, you've got seven blocks, and then uh, three, four, and five, you've got 18. There it is again, 2.718, that's Euler. The Euler constant used for so many things uh, in industry and, and uh, compound interest and other things. Okay, so the east wall, you've got one uh, block in the top course, five blocks in uh, course two, and three and four, you got seven. Oh, look, you got 1.57, which is pi over two. Then if we take the three blocks in the south wall, and then the next two courses, you got 14, there's pi again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, uh, so we've, we've seen square root of 2, Euler, pi, and phi. What else is here? Okay, we take the top courses of the east and south wall, and you got 17 blocks, and then uh, most of the th uh, third, fourth, and fifth courses of the east and south wall, and there's 32, and then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at the bottom of the east wall, and so you got 1.73205. It's square root of 3. So, wow, the, the constants are adding up. Square root of 2, square root of 3, Euler, pi, phi. All right, let's take most of the fifth course except for the west wall. you got 22 blocks there. And then take the top two courses completely and the rest of the west wall fifth course, and that's 36. Okay, 2.236, square root of 5. There it is. There, there you've got square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 5, Euler, pi, and phi. Wow, incredible revelations. 
Now, how about the Fibonacci numbers? These are well known. 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. The, the, these are, uh, create the, the, the Fibonacci spiral. They approach uh, phi uh, as the spiral goes infinitely out farther and farther. If you've seen my programs, I've shown that there's a Fibonacci spiral that goes to the center of the three big Giza pyramids and the center of the middle satellite. And where the origin goes, which is an eternal beginning, the origin of that Fibonacci spiral is a very mysterious place in Egypt. Look at my programs on that. So let's see if the Fibonacci numbers are in the king's chamber. Well, there's zero because that's not a block. That's the entrance. So there's zero. Okay. West wall on top, you got one block. Okay. East wall on top, you got one block. So there's zero, one, one. How about two? Okay. Two blocks on the north wall. How about three? Okay. Three blocks on the top course of the south wall. What about five? Okay, so underneath uh, this on the second course, the east wall, you got five. And then there's eight in the second course of the south wall. How about 13? All right, underneath the west wall, there are 13 blocks there. Okay, then you've got these 21 blocks that are, you know, you can see where they are in the north, east, and south wall. We're going fairly systematically here. And then there's 34 blocks right there. Incredible. The Fibonacci numbers are in the, you know, this just scratches the surface. There's so much more here. So let me uh, say this. I'm going to plan to put this out on YouTube. Uh, again, I'll be going to Egypt soon. I did this last time. I offered to chase down some things. For those of you who you can't get to Giza, you've wanted to study some things, you know, maybe you can ask me to, to do it. I did it for several different channels. I, I uh, People asked me to do things. I looked them up, and I learned things myself. I like to do it. So I, I always have my own research agenda, but maybe there's something you want me to check out in Egypt. So in the comments, let me know. What do you want me to check out, measure, or try and get into? All right. Thanks for watching.